18 racing cars, two DTM race taxis, two safety cars, spare parts, wheel rims, tools. Over 300 tons of weight and around 9000 kilometers at the crow flies. The DTM has arrived for the final in Shanghai. This outstanding world-class final is also one huge logistical operation. At Frankfurt Hahn Airport in Germany, the DTM freight is loaded on board three Boeing 747 transport planes. Two DTM race cars fit onto one so-called car rack. All the equipment the team will need at the race weekend is also stowed on board. The planes take off that same night for Shanghai. The three jumbos have landed in Shanghai. The race cars have arrived safely in the Far East. Everything's ready for the big showdown in the Chinese metropolis of Shanghai. The 2.465 km long city circle has been completely redesigned especially for the DTM and now it's equal opportunities for all. I think it's going to be an extremely tough race. No one's familiar with this circuit. I was here before in 2004, but the route was different back then. Pudong is a very special place and there's a lot going on beside the track. I'm going to give all of gut and hope that I can win this race too. They all want to win the Shanghai race, but only three of them still have the chance to clinch the championship. Bruno Spengler, 66 points, Paul Di Resta, 63 points, and Gary Paffett with 57 points in the DTM driver rankings. Nobody knows the circuit, so it will be very interesting, and I'm going to give all I've got. I've been an outsider for the last two races. I'm still an outsider, but um, I'm still mathematically in the championship, so three guys fighting for the championship in Shanghai is going to be interesting, so let's see. Audi are free from pressure and want to follow up on Timo Scheider's performance in Adria. For Mercedes-Benz, the big question is, who will be DTM champion? The race in Shanghai has all the makings of gripping, action-packed international final to the DTM 2010.